Okay, now we're done with this side, and it's time to move to a different side. It's critical that you have a convention and you follow it um, so that you don't mill the piece the wrong way. Let's say um, you take this piece and you rotate away from you and you mill it. That would be one way to do it. Or you could take the piece and rotate it towards you. You could rotate it 90 degrees. You could rotate it 180 degrees. And so there's a number of different ways to do that. One thing to be aware of is if you don't have a convention, then what's going to happen is eventually you're going to mess up because you know, someone can do the master cam and they're using one convention and someone doing the actual machining, they're using a different convention. How are you going to communicate that? And so the convention we use in our shop is when we move from operation one to operation two on the extruded aluminum pieces, we take the piece and we rotate it away from us by 90 degrees. And then we just keep doing that. We don't take the piece and flip it side to side. Um, we just keep the same left edge here against that end stop, and then we just rotate it away from us. So it's critical that we have that. And so what I do and what I recommend you do um, is the first thing before you do anything is we make a new file. Now, I'm not going to just delete all of this and import it in again. I'm just going to go File and go Save As, and I'm just going to change this to Operation 2. The reason why I do that is, let's say you start flipping it and, where, you know, you start then, you know, rotating it and, and then cutting out the pieces here, and then, you for, and then you hit Save. Well, you're still dealing with Operation 1, and then if you just save, you saved over everything you did before. And so that's something that I do before I do any type of rotation or whatever, is I go File, Save As, make a new operation, we're dealing with Operation 2. So now we want to rotate it away from us. And so the simplest way I think to do that is if we look at the right side, notice if I click the right side, I'm looking at right end. And so rotating it away would be a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees. So I'm just going to go transform or exform, click rotate, and then it says select entity. So I'm just going to make a bounding box again um, by clicking the left mouse button and then making the bounding box and then clicking it again. And then you need to hit enter and it brings this up. Notice we set a 90 degree clockwise rotation. Clockwise rotation is a negative 90 degrees. And so once I do that, I hit OK, it will rotate it up like that. Now, if we go back to the isometric view, notice it's not at the right spot. It's elevated. Okay. And so what we need to do is move it back down. And so we can go transform and we can go um, move to origin. And then we can click this back corner and it will pop it back down like we did before. Um, if I undo that, and I undo that again, we go back to our original orientation. I'm going to show you a different way to rotate. Um, and so let's go back to the side view here. And what I'm going to do is create a line. I'm going to create a line here. I'm going to go endpoint. I'm going to go from this endpoint to that endpoint. And then what I'm going to do is go Transform, Rotate. And then I'm going to select this and hit Enter. And again, I'm going to go negative 90 degrees. But instead of rotating about the origin here, I'm going to go click this button. I'm going to rotate right about this point. And if I rotate right about that point, notice what I did. I clicked this, and I clicked the center point, and then I hit Check. Then we go back to the isometric view. Notice it doesn't lift it up. And so that there's a couple of ways to do that. 